Hello. Have you ever wondered why the space beneath the power lines on the hill behind Roland and Talcott Halls is so bare? It may surprise you to learn that Ithaca College once operated its very own ski slope. Come take a look at some archival footage of the ski slope and what remains of it today. Welcome to another episode of Ithaca College, then and now. The ski slope was constructed in 1961 with the help of student workers who volunteered to build the slope in order to save the college money. The slope was operated by students who filled positions as ski patrolmen and lift operators who were responsible for running the simple rope tow that pulled students up and down the slope. The engine of a 1946 truck, housed in a small shed, powered the lift. Today, if you walk up the South Hill Conservation Area Trail, you can still find components of the old rope tow. The ski slope was open for student use on afternoons and was an identifiable part of campus life. Students used the slope for other activities besides skiing. Skating on trays stolen from the dining hall was a popular activity and a cinematography class used the slope on November 14, 1970 to film a battle scene complete with theatrical explosives. However, the college found the slope troublesome to maintain, especially given Ithaca's unpredictable weather. And, according to a 1985 article in the Ithacan, students lost interest in local skiing and became more concerned with the counterculture and the Vietnam War. The college closed the ski slope in the early to mid-1970s, though the exact year is hard to determine. The last time the Ithacan explicitly states that the ski slope is open is in March 1973. While there is little today to suggest that this odd clearing on South Hill was once a recreation site, the Ithaca College ski slope survives in the memory of alumni and faculty. If you have any memories or experiences you'd like to share about the ski slope, please post them in the comments section of this video. This has been another episode of Ithaca College, then and now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.